Good day folks, just a follow-up video. I'd like to put some emphasis that Don Smith had several methods to essentially get to the same thing. And um, the RF is one of the easiest methods. And he also experimented with high frequency AC. And that's usually what's more accessible to everyone. So I thought I'd offer a simpler solution for those who don't have RF generators, but they have like high frequency neons and things like that. So essentially a way to simulate the same effect. What I have here is a pickup coil and I'm using this as a high Q antenna and I've combined all the windings here in series so that's my it forms my big loop high Q loop and underneath here is my generator which is just runs off of 5 volts and it switches the DC 5 volts with a pulse width modulator and it has a little torsion coil inside I took this apart before there's nothing um, basically novel in here it's just a configuration with a circular core inside a little coil and what that does is it's a self-canceling configuration. So what happens is it cancels the electric and magnetic fields because of the 180 degrees uh, phase. So essentially, it doesn't matter what your frequency is. There's no um, there's no possibility, or very little, anyways, of uh, reflected power that can get back because you're nullifying whether you're trying to transmit or receive and nullifies it. So it's also good for shielding against uh, what would be the uh, back EMF or opposing EMFs of a secondary system. So by nature, without very extensive tuning, you don't have to worry about it when you use a torsion coil. Now what also happens is you're also left with the coil, the core I should say. And the core has the magnetic flux which still um, oscillates. So you end up with a secondary pure magnetic field coming right from the core and that could still trigger your resonance effect which triggers pure magnetically your nearby coil here and as long as it's reactive it'll be able to step the voltage quite up and similarly as the first video I showed you you end up getting your pure AC sine wave and it's and the voltage and current is, is completely in phase and again without and again because of this torsion configuration the um, RX antenna doesn't drain the load even though it's right next to it because it's completely self-canceling in this configuration we're tapping into the pure magnetic component of the core flux essentially because it radiates still a few centimeters or inches from inside of here so right now I have the scope it's off and I have it set to the um, times 10 section because the voltage is too high so I'm going to turn this on and now it's on and you see the sine wave there I don't know if I can zoom into that a little bit but that's showing up as 68 so that's 680 volts because what happens if I put at the 1x it's it's off the scale see because it's 680 volts so we're getting a pure AC sine wave so the pulse width modulator in here runs at about 290 kilohertz so it's pretty high frequency and there you have it and this sine wave is free for the takings so here's a high voltage step up completely independent from normal transformer action essentially the same system I was talking about with RF but you could also do it like this and it's even more simple I guess so every um, method has its pros and cons is what I'm getting at depending on what you want to do which way you want to do it if you understand the concept it can get pretty interesting so again I hope I clarify it some more and if you don't understand what I'm talking about please watch the previous video that explains it thank you all